Ancient Egypt was an ancient civilization in eastern North Africa, located where the modern nation of Egypt is located today. This is Egypt. The River Nile is the longest river in the world, and the vast majority of it flows through Egypt. Can you see the River Nile on the map? Daily life in ancient Egypt revolved around the Nile and the fertile land along its banks. The yearly flooding of the Nile enriched the soil and brought good harvests and wealth to the land. The people of ancient Egypt built mud brick homes and villages in the country. They grew some of their own food and traded in the villages for the food and goods they could not produce. Most ancient Egyptians worked as field hands, farmers, craftsmen and scribes. A small group of people were nobles. Together these made up the different population of Egypt. <clears throat> the most powerful person in Egypt was the Pharaoh. The Pharaoh was the political and religious leader of the Egyptian people. The Pharaoh held two titles. Lord of the two lands and the high priest of every temple. As Lord of the two lands, the Pharaoh was the ruler of Upper and Lower Egypt. He owned all the land, made laws, collected taxes, and defended Egypt against foreigners. As high priest of every temple, the Pharaoh represented the gods on earth. He performed rituals and built temples to honor the gods. The ancient Egyptians believed the temples were the homes of the gods and goddesses. Every temple was dedicated to a god or goddess, and he or she was worshipped there by the temple priests and the pharaoh. The large temple buildings were made of stone so that they would last forever. Their walls were covered with scenes that were carved into the stone and then brightly painted. These scenes show the pharaoh fighting in battles and performing rituals with the gods and goddesses. Many of these temples can still be seen today, such as this one, the Temple of Nefeti at Abu Sibel. This picture shows some of the gods and goddesses that the ancient Egyptians believed in. The ancient Egyptians believed that there were many different gods and goddesses, each one with their own um, different powers over the world. Some gods and goddesses took part in creation, some brought the flood every year, some offered protection and some took care of people after they died. The ancient Egyptians believed that it was extremely important to recognize and worship these gods and goddesses so that the life that so that life continued smoothly. The ancient Egyptians believed in life after death, just as Christians believe in heaven after death. The earliest ancient Egyptians buried their dead in small pits in the desert. The heat and dryness of the sand dehydrated the bodies quickly, creating lifelike and natural mummies like this one. Later, the ancient Egyptians began burying their dead in coffins to protect them from wild animals in the desert. However, 
They realised that the bodies placed in coffins decayed when they were not exposed to the hot, dry sand of the desert. Over the centuries, the ancient Egyptians developed a method of preserving the bodies so that they would remain lifelike. The process included embalming the bodies and wrapping them in strips of linen. Today, we call this process mummification. After covering the bodies in strips of linen, the body was placed in a stone coffin called a sarcophagus. This picture shows the sarcophagus of a pharaoh called Tutankhamun. Today it can be seen in the Museum of Cairo in Egypt. When most people think of ancient Egypt, one of the first things to come to mind are the pyramids. The pyramids are triangular shaped structures found in Egypt, some of which are fo over 4,000 years old. The ancient Egyptians built pyramids as tombs for the pharaohs and their queens. The pharaohs were buried in pyramids of many different shapes and sizes. There are about 80 pyramids known today from ancient Egypt. The three largest and best preserved of these were built in Giza. This is them that you can see at the moment. The most well known of these three pyramids was built for the pharaoh Khufu. It is known as the Great Pyramid. It is the biggest of the three that you can see here. Building a pyramid was no easy task. It took many thousands of slave workers to construct these massive tombs. Massive stone blocks had to be hauled one on top of the other. Next, they dug tunnels and chambers inside the pyramid where the pharaoh would be buried. Finally, they smoothed off the sides and the pyramid was complete. The construction of pyramids took many, many years. Craftsmen in ancient Egypt were usually trained and skilled labourers. Some of their work has survived today and is extremely impressive. They were often well respected in the community and had a comfortable lifestyle. Some, of ex some examples of their work which can be seen today are pottery, paintings, murals which are paintings on walls, statues and much more. The ancient Egyptians believed that it was important to record and communicate information about religion and government. Thus, they invented written scripts that could be used to record this information. The most famous of all ancient Egyptian scripts is called hieroglyphic. Using these scripts, scribes were able to preserve the beliefs, history and ideas of ancient Egypt in temple and tomb walls and on papyrus scrolls. Today, archaeologists and historians are able to read these scripts and are able to learn a lot about ancient Egyptian society. <laughs>